Here we have a 2012 Nissan Qashqai Tecna in silver. The car's in a lovely condition as you'll see throughout the video. Starts with the offside front tyre. Looking at the tread depth there, centre of the tread, we're looking at about 3mm of tread there. And looking at the offside front alloy, now they are a polished finish alloy, so they will corrode over time. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of corrosion there. No sign of any curbing, got any scuff marks at all there, so nice condition really. Looking down the offside of the bodywork, now taking a good look, I personally cannot see any dinks or any dents at all down there. Looking around the offside front arch, again just a couple of light scratches will require polish. Driver's mirror, looks like it's had a bit of paint previously. Um, you can definitely see that on the reflection, so definitely had some paint there. It has got the 360 degree view cameras around the car, which is a nice feature. And the driver's door, again very clean, there's a couple of light scratches, again just requires a polish. Nothing serious at all though. Um, door edge is very clean, no signs of any car park chips at all down there. We've got keyless entry, both the sills are in nice condition. Roof bars and the pan roof on top. You've also got rear privacy glass, so the car's got some nice spec. A couple of light scratches going down at the rear door here, goes right down to the rear arch again. That should mop or polish out, it's very light so it should have no issue. Door edge is spotless, moving towards the rear arch and rear quarter, again nothing really to report there, looks very clean. Rear tyre, looking at really good 5mm there on the back. Looking at the rear alloy, <coughs> taking a good look at the condition, no sign of any curbing or any scuff marks at all there, very clean. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, I apologise on the light, it's very sunny today. Looking at the rear bumper, no sign of any damage whatsoever at all to the rear. Um, again, lovely clean condition. A couple of little scratches, you can see it took the paint off there. Uh, there's another one on the quarter here, so just a little bit of paint to those two. Again, you've got a reversing camera on the back, a um, little button here to open the boot. And as you can see, as we open up the boot, um, and now it is a seven-seater. Um, so you have got the, I think it's going to be a bit hard to push from this end, yes it is, so you've got the two seats in the back there, um, so it is a seven seater, and you've got all these uh, proper Nissan rubber boot mat trays down here, so you can see it's been uh, been looked after, been protected, and uh, inside, or well, round to the near side rear tyre, sorry, as you can see you've got a good five millimetres there as well, looking at the near side rear alloy, taking a good look at the condition, Again, spotlessly clean with no curbing or scuffs. Around the arch, no signs of any marks or damage. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, once again, no sign of any dinks or dents there. Rear door edge is spotless. Again, both the doors are immaculate, really. That door edge is spotless. Just the odd one or two light scratches. Again, mirror looks like it's had some paint as well. Unless it's just uh, how the paint is on the uh, mirrors, but again, it looks and feels like it's had a bit of paint. Again, you've got the camera underneath there. Front arch, very clean. And a good about 3mm of tread there. So, again, the front tyres will need changing. You can see it's uh, very worn on the outer edge as well. Looking on the near side front alloy, again, immaculate condition, um, very clean indeed with no curb or scuffs. And moving around to the front end of the vehicle. Well, as you can see, you've got a couple of scratches there on the plastics. Again, not much you can do about those really. A couple of stone chips around the front end of the vehicle, no sign of any damage whatsoever there. You've got a small dink here where it looks like a stone's hit as you have got a little chip in the paintwork as well. And then literally just one or two stone chips to the bonnet. So as you can see, the car is in a very nice condition. And taking a look at the interior. Now it's just as nice inside with the full black leather interior. And the leather looks very well for its age as you can see on the video. Uh, very clean, no signs of any wearing. All the carpets and mats etc. On a lovely clean condition, door panels, back of the seats are all immaculate as well, so again looks very nice inside. Looking at your driver's seats again looks very well, uh, bolsters are all immaculate, there's a slight bit of wearing here, uh, but again no signs of any damage. Front passenger seat again, lovely clean condition, dashboard etc, console, centre console, no scratches or marks, steering wheels also looking good, so as an all round vehicle it's a very nice condition. You've also got the Bose sound system inside as well, so like I said lots of spec on the car. Now we do have two sets of keys, but of course it's keyless entry and uh, keyless start as well. Um, so if you just look at the dash whilst we turn the ignition, as you can see no issues at all starting the vehicle, it's telling me the oil level is okay as well. Um, we're looking at 46,331 miles on the clock with no symbols appearing on the dash. As you can see, this nice little touchscreen um, here. 
Um, just starting up the nav. Turn the radio on instead. As you can see, there's no issues at all functioning. That works perfectly fine. Nav working great as well. Uh, press that button there. It shows you the whole 360 degree um, views there on um, the cameras. No issues at all. The blowers, air conditioning comes out lovely and cold as well. Manual box, heated seats. Again, they come on fine. If we just pull this back here just to show you the pan roof. Works perfectly fine again. Obviously, it's not a sunroof, it is only a pan roof. Um, but again, lots of lot of light into the car, and it's very nice on a day like today. And um, looking at the paperwork, looking at the V5, the car's had one owner for new, which is spot on, so only one owner. MOT uh, certificate here expires 13th of September 2016, so plenty left on the MOT. It's just had a MOT, so you've got a year's MOT with the car, so it's ticking all the boxes so far. And as you can see, full Nissan service history 16, 27, and 38 there as its last service. So there you go, guys, all good things. The car's immaculate, it's got lovely spec on the vehicle. Um, you couldn't ask for better condition for a car of its age. There's literally a little bit of a polish here and there, a couple of touch ins and uh, maybe two new front tyres. But apart from that, full history and a year's MOT. Very nice looking car indeed.